All right, so welcome back to the channel, BS gang. If you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Shoutouts to the members of the channel. Thank you so much for becoming a member and joining. If you want to join, go ahead and click that button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It's, well, it's not free, but, uh, you know, you get a couple of perks that you normally wouldn't get for being, uh, you know, just a subscriber. But let's go ahead and let's get into this tier list. Now, it's not my tier list, so don't come at me for anything that's on this tier list, right? But I am going to give my thoughts and opinions on it. It is from the um, global side of the Grand Cross database, so huge shoutouts to them. For making this tier list and everything they do for the community right but um i was looking at it you know preemptively before i made the video most things i do agree with i feel like this is more pvp it does say pvp deathmatch and farming so it is taking in consideration all of it so we'll go ahead and we'll break it down but i feel like a majority is just pvp so let me go ahead and let me just you know get my thoughts and opinions on what it could be some of these units you guys were actually saying are in their respective tiers but i have a few things that you know i need to say <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's start so first off in the ss class right so ss class we have goddess elizabeth both of the um the gothers lilia meliotis sario tarmio and zelders okay so i can see this right i can actually see this being you know a pretty accurate ss tier i I don't know if I would put Lilia in SS tier now. This is updated, by the way, because it has Sario and Tarmio and Christmas Elaine, but we'll get to Christmas Elaine, right? And, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys know where she's at, but I don't think I would put Lilia here. I think I'd move her down to S tier. I don't necessarily think she is in SS tier, although for farming purpose, like purposes, I could, I could see it, right? I could see it. She does help out the Pierce team a lot because of her passive. But in PvP, she kind of, like, gets stomped. She can be really, really good in PvP. Deathmatch, you won't really see her. But PvP and farming, you definitely will see her. Everyone else here probably does deserve this, this spot. Red Zelders, I would even say, deserves SS tier, right? Since this is just a tier list of every unit in the game, not just their respective typing. I do think he is, at, uh, you know overall in the game probably ss tier in terms of pvp and deathmatch and farming not so much but in pvp he's definitely up there right definitely up there um in s tier now in s tier i think everyone besides honestly hendrickson is good where they're at if you want to go ahead and just take it into consideration for pvp um hendrickson yeah no hendrickson probably shouldn't be s tier maybe a N or B. The reason for that is because he's just a support for this king. Now, the problem with that is these two go neck and neck, and somewhat of Red Lily as well, right? But just mainly these two. What we have here is going on is like a synergy type thing. So if you move Hendrickson down, would you move King down? I don't think so. I think King is good in S tier because of the fact Hendrickson isn't a fest unit. He's not a fest unit. He's literally just support for king he's not using deathmatch he's not used in farming so in pvp you you know you only see him with king that's his downside right what makes king s tier is that he has a very very good aoe um poison he has a very good ultimate his passive is amazing he has a good skill uh skill one so that's what makes him s tier the problem is you need debuffs and hendrickson is his best friend but hendrickson gets like cream pie by red units so honestly he doesn't have very good defensive stats so i would say he is squishy i would put him in a tier me personally i would put him in a tier but everyone else i think everyone else here actually deserves a spot in s tier i think s tier for all these units is pretty good maybe you could even say lilia in a tier because lilia besides the fact that she you know alt drains and gives out corrosion and a little bit of a debuff to attack related stats she isn't good her damage sucks she's not really used for farming um so you could put her in a tier but you know that's completely up to you i think i personally put her in a tier as well but everyone else besides hendrickson and lilia i would say definitely is s tier so now we move down to the a tier okay a tier now this is what <laughs> this is what makes me question it right because athena Athena is, I think, better than Hendrickson. Not only does she have a very good passive skill, she has a good, you know, detonate card. 
She also can um what what is it? The, she has a Denny card and it's something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. She has a, a good skill too, but I can't remember what it is for life of me. Give me one second. But I don't think Hendrickson is better than her, in my personal opinion. Oh, here it goes. Okay, so it's it's not the craziest, but it can still stun and cancel stances, right? And it's very strong. So I don't think Hendrickson, in my in my opinion, is better than her, simply because she can be ran on the back of pretty much any team, whereas Hendrickson can't. So you know what I mean? I I would put a Athena. I would either put her in S tier or she would stay in A, but I don't know if I would personally have her above Hendrick. I I or below Hendrickson. I don't think so. I really really don't think so. Green Derriere. This is now she's actually weird the way she because i don't know like i honestly don't know with green derriere because i know she can be useful for a defense team alt removal is she a tier though hmm i don't know i guess i'll leave it leave it up to you guys in the comments either she's a or b she's definitely not below b but i if she's a that's fine right you guys can leave her in a i didn't you know when i did my green tier list you know a lot of people were saying she's a so maybe she is a right maybe she is a i think both of the dianes are good where they're at i think you could even move green diane to s but maybe that's for when the one releases and like like literally what is it 15 days or something like that so maybe when the one releases she'll be an s tier right both the drolls i think you can even put them at s tier as well they're really really good i think you could honestly put them in s tier right easton yeah a definitely a right fraudrin now, Fraudrin, I think, honestly, could be lower, but, I mean, no, I think he's lower. I, I just don't think he's good anymore, I'm going to be honest with you. Green Gildunner definitely deserves A tier because of his passive. His passive is really, really good. Um, Red Gloxinia, a lot of people were saying that I didn't give Red Gloxinia the credit he deserves, so, hey, there he is on their tier list. I think, personally, he isn't the craziest, but maybe I am under, you know, underrating him. Uh, then we have Green Graymore. For his passive, it's good. He also does have a barrier, so I could see it. But honestly, I'm probably moving down to B or C. He's just probably not the greatest to run in the back anymore. Hellbroman Hauser could see it. Could definitely see it. King probably would move him down to B as well. Mai could stay here, I guess. Red Melascula too. Mikasa probably move her down to B. Monspeed, B. Roxy. I would definitely not keep Roxy up here. I, I'm sorry. I don't know... I'm sorry for people who actually like like Roxy, but I just don't think she's A tier at all. I think she's C actually. I think she's I think she's C. Shen is definitely A, potentially S for farming. Valenti, yes, A. Zeldris. Now Blue Zeldris, man, I feel like majority of the time A tier is good for him, but I really feel like he could be S too, right? I really do feel like he could be S tier because if you build him right and if you give him the right teammates, he could crit and he pretty much hits. He's pretty much one of the hardest hitting units in the game once he crits. So I could see S tier, but A is pretty much where he's at normally at the time, right? <clears throat> then we get to the B tier units. Um, I don't, I don't really see a problem with the B tier units. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, maybe Mono could be lower and Oslo and Hawk could be high, right? I think Oslo and Hawk, they are very underrated. I would put them in S tier. They are very underrated, by the way. I just want to put that out there. The reason why they're probably in B is because of their, like, because they're limited, right? You can't get them off of regular banners. I don't know. I don't even know when they're coming back. They're still not on JP either. So, honestly, maybe that's why they're in B. But if you have them and use them, it, it, they have to be easily S. Like, they're really, really good. They are actually really, really good. But um, maybe Lilia could be lower, but I could see her being B as well for the tankiness. Both of these Elaine should... No, no, no. This is this right here. This is the... Pro now, I see a problem. This, this is a problem. Blue Elaine should be like C tier because of Deathmatch. They are putting Deathmatch. I have to keep that in to uh consideration so she should definitely be c tier because she can be ran on the back red uh oh no 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 i lied red elaine should be c tier this one right here should be c tier as well i guess both of them technically could be c tier because they are helpful in both the death matches of their respective type but definitely not b tier i don't think b tier um let's see let's see red elizabeth probably could be moved down to c tier right and probably could be moved down to c tier i think 
Bond. All right, for Deathmatch, yes, B. Okay, I can keep them up there because they're they're putting Deathmatch into it, so I have to keep that in mind. All right. Is there anything else? Zanari and Jenna. Oh, man, it... Uh, Zanari probably C. Jenna could probably stay B because Jenna has right. She can actually cancel stances, which is good for the red. De uh, you know, like the red demon boss. So that's that's actually really good. And Jericho too. Jericho's pretty good on that stage too, right? So yeah, I think besides like these two Elaines, um, Zanari, Mono, and I feel like there was another unit. Maybe uh, maybe not. Maybe not. There was another unit. But yeah, besides those two, maybe even Blue Arthur. You can move down to C, but besides that, I don't really think there's anything wrong with this B, B list at all. Actually, I think it's really, really accurate besides those few units. But yeah, so, okay, B tier. All right, C tier. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Ac actually, this is, this is pretty good. This is actually pretty accurate. I can't, I can't lie. Maybe I would put the blue Jericho on B. I'm going to be real with y'all. She, she's really good. I think she's my, she's personally like one of my favorite SR characters in the game. I think she's really, really good. Not only is her passive good, she uh, increases attack rate stats for, you know, blue units. She also has very good crit chance. Once she gets her buff, when Jericho comes, like red free Jericho comes out, it's over. She's going to be really, really good. Her heal card is in, is insanely good. Heals on her max HP, right? So very, very good there. Hmm. Red Jericho, you could probably even put B2. I was using Red Jericho a little bit. I gotta say, I do like Red Jericho too. So, I mean, Halloween Melly? No, no. Halloween Melly is definitely D. I do not care. Halloween Melly, definitely D. I think you could even put Rimuru D. Um, who else? Who else? Hmm. Because I know they're taking into, you know, consideration, like, farming, deathmatch, etc., etc. He's not good on anything, though. So that's why I'm saying he's definitely D. Merlin's D. Um. Hmm. Blue Frodoran. Yeah, he's C. Gerhard. No, she's D. Like, you can't, okay, you can't put, um, like, Gearhard above. Well, I mean, I guess you could put her technically above any. Not, not really, though. She doesn't do anything. So, I'm going to put her on D. I'm, I'm going to say she belongs in D. You could possibly bump up Gil to B if you really wanted to. Keep in mind, some of these units are really good for reverse stages as well. Hawk is C, but he's, like, S when, when, <laughs> when uh, you know, celebrations are out. It's actually really insane. These units all work on the back, except her, right? Vivian, Vivian's still low-key good. Uh, Rimuru? See, uh, Milium is D. Sorry, she's she's shitty. Uh, everyone else, though, I think is pretty accurate. I, I actually think this is a pretty accurate, like, C tier besides those few units that I mentioned. But I really think this is pretty accurate, right? If, if above all else, these two... Gerhard and Meliodas should be D, right? And then finally we get to the D. <laughs> um, Blue Hauser. I just watched Marilli. Shout out to Marilli's video on Blue Hauser. He's really his passive is very very good. Um, if they give this to a stronger unit, I think it would be a very good you know kit to have. But on SR Hauser, he's not good because his skills suck. Like his skills suck. Um. Both of these kings, I mean, green king, yeah, he's he's probably D, but you could move him up to C, depending, but he probably is D, 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 <laughs> um, green Elaine, I actually would put in C tier, she actually has a few moves, right, if we're taking in, like, if we're taking PvP, deathmatch, and farming, I would put her in C, right, I'll put her in C, but in terms of like green units itself, trash. Um, red. Okay, so red, Elaine, definitely D. It says pending final rating, but she is definitely D tier. There is no doubt in my mind. She will be D tier once they finish the final rating for the units. But um, that is it for this video, guys. Look, I know this is again, this is not my tier list. So please don't come at me saying like I put them in the wrong places because I did not make this. Again, huge shout outs to 
Grand Cross database for doing this. This is their tier list. It was last updated on the 12th. Um, so we'll see when more units come out. Maybe I'll do this again if you guys enjoyed it. But um, just you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you guys did enjoy the video. But with that said, guys, as always, I will see you next time.